on what planet is this teaching kids they will earn $20 for putting away the dang dishes? Hey, hello again, everybody. Welcome back to Positively Hustling. Today, we are going to be unloading the car full of things that I bought uh, yesterday during a day-long shopping trip to about nine or 10 thrift stores. So I've actually kind of forgotten what a lot of this stuff was already. So I'm gonna pull it out and go through everything with you and give you some price points of what I got it for, what I expect to get it, and of course, as always, why I purchased it. If you enjoy today's content, please make sure you click the thumbs up icon down below. And if you haven't already and you enjoy today's video or any of my other videos, please consider subscribing to help the channel grow. Let's get into the car. All right, no joke. I literally was just stacking everything in the back seat because, or sorry, the front seat over here on the floor because the back seat is completely filled up with other stuff as well from my storage unit. So let me go ahead and start pulling this out and I guess we'll find uh, all the good stuff in here and I'll show it to you. We bought something in eight out of the nine stores we went to. Most of them were Goodwill or Salvation Army. I think a couple of savers. Uh, we spent $138. There's about two items I could pick at random that will pay for the entire shopping trip. And that means all the rest of this stuff is pure profit when it sells. All right, there's all of it, and I'm gonna go ahead and start just digging out some of this stuff. There's a few specific items I wanna show you first. So the pile looks a little bit unimpressive, I know that, but let me go ahead and start digging out some stuff. And like I said, I wanna show you, like I'll pick two specific things that show you uh, how they're gonna pay for everything else. So here we have an LG external DVD writer, not something I would usually grab, but this thing, was brand new in the box everything in here is factory sealed not just replaced so this was a steal actually because i had a 25 percent off coupon so rather than five dollars i paid what i paid 350 for this and i believe this was going for around 50 bucks so for some of these items i'll be putting them up on the screen so you can see what i was looking at when i was in the store and um i'll do the best i can and i know a lot of this stuff people say oh my goodwills don't have these kind of things and i'm not just showing you goodwill items i'm showing you items that you could find at yard sales, flea markets, Facebook marketplace. So don't think of this as just what to go thrifting for. Think of this as just the types of products to go looking for in general, wherever you're out trying to find merchandise for your resale business. This was a huge, huge score. Um, this right here is one of those, it's not Jack specific. This is actually a Hasbro one, I believe if I can focus in there, but trust me, it's a 2005 Hasbro. This is called Dream Life. It's a TV plug and play game where you just plug it into your TV, throw some batteries in and use it. And um, I was surprised because this thing goes for over a hundred dollars if it is complete with this remote. The base unit itself was around like just 30 if you didn't have the remote, but I paid $2.99 for this. So right here with those two items, give or take with fees and shipping, if, let's say we have $100 there and $50 right there, and I spent $138 on all of this stuff, those two things right there make everything else here profit. And that's the way I look at my sourcing. So a lot of what I buy is electronics and toys and things that are powered. I wanted to be fair and say, I haven't tested this yet. So I'm gonna go ahead and plug it in right now. And we're gonna see if that score was as big as we uh, hoped it would be. If we got a picture, not sure if this is gonna have batteries in the, there we go, Dream Life. All right, this is not going. Let me grab some batteries really quick and uh, we'll try this out. They are exploded pretty good there. Got a little bit of sticker on me too. So we're gonna have to replace these. Looks like there was nothing really stuck in there. I'll just clean that off with a Q-tip, maybe a little bit of uh, lemon juice to make it look nice, but let's put some batteries in and try it out. Awesome, that's working. Let's see if we can load anything that's on here. All right, looks like Lauren was last playing on day seven before this was donated. Um, from what I looked up in the store, what this actually is, um, you create a character and you do errands and you do chores to learn things, build a career. Um, let's go to my favorite room, the kitchen. We can put dishes away, set the table, call a friend. Let's uh, put dishes away. Put away the dishes and earn $20. On what planet is this teaching kids they will earn $20 for putting away the dang dishes? Anyway, okay, we can go to the Mega Mall, we can go to the Rec Center. This is cool. Um, I'm gonna wipe the data later on, but it's obviously working and uh, that's exciting. So that's a heck of a find. 
Here's about a hundred dollar plus sale. And I take a quick glance through a lot of this. It really is just random stuff that's gonna add up. Um, in this bag, we picked up 11 items. And um, other than one thing, which is this uh, Brian Midnight I'll Be Home for Christmas CD. It's not that this CD itself is worth anything. It had an original price of five bucks. Um, didn't even notice that it was that cheap. But when these are half off and I'm paying a dollar, I'm actually building up a large collection of Christmas CDs for a dollar or less that I'm going to sell as a big bundle. Uh, just one more thing that I can, you know, throw into the mix uh, as we get closer to the holiday season. And honestly, if I had enough, I'd probably list them right now and they'd probably sell. But the rest of what's in this box, you might have seen these. I've seen these before. Never seen them for 99 cents, so I grabbed them. It's a couple of different brands of this Liberty Falls and Americana collection of little building statues. And these were all going anywhere from like $8 to $15. Ah, I'm trying to get the box open so you can see. Most of them were new, or at least they were in mint condition, bubble wrapped or packed inside. And just on a whim, I just grabbed uh, 10 of those. And I'll either bundle them up or maybe sell some individually. These are more like filler items, but a lot of times when you get a person who's looking for one of these, they buy like three or four. So to me, yeah, if I could sell them and save on the shipping rather than paying probably close to like four fifty a piece, depending on how far it goes, um, that would be great because I could just pack them into a, a priority box and probably send them for about. Uh, a third of the cost. Even more random stuff. Um, this is something I sell over and over and it sells really quick. This deluxe pick game, the one that comes with, uh, with that bell. And so the cards were in really, they were in not creased or uh, damaged condition. So I uh, counted those in the store, made sure they were worth again, paid a dollar for this. Um, I think this generally goes for between 15 and 20. And then I hadn't seen this before, but this is apparently another variation or an add-on. Uh, pit just the card with eight new suits. I've never actually played this and for as many times as I've sold it um, I should probably try it, but got a dollar pay a dollar for that, too So maybe even that's worth bundling together and again every time I bundle it together I save a bit on shipping some stuff looks like it fell from other stores in the wrong bags And I try and keep everything together to inventory it So we should also have on here a Magnavox DVD VCR combo and there were actually two of these sitting on the shelf. You can kind of see maybe in the sunlight, there's a little bit of discoloring going on here, but it's not smoke. I'm very sensitive to smoke, so I could sniff it and know that it was not covered in smoke. But um, I had a pass on that one because the quality was just not good. This one though, I tested it as best as I could in the store. Um, I put in tapes, I put in a DVD from the shelves and I make sure it doesn't chew up the tape, doesn't automatically power itself off and short out. And also this one Emerson thermostat. Paid $1.99. I want to say this was somewhere in the mid-20s used. Even if it's a little bit less, these things sell surprisingly fast. I sell a lot of thermostats, just like you'll see a lot of phones in here. Um, I've been selling phones and cradles and handsets nonstop. Those are consistent $15, $20 sales day in and day out right now. And I guess they fell in the bag, so I will um, <laughs> just do it for now. I can tell these are savers. We have the saver sticker on it. I just bought a copy of Dinosaurs, the Halloween and Christmas special. It's on Disney Plus right now, but this tape actually goes for around 10 or 12 bucks. So again, it's not a huge sale, but it was in front of me and I grabbed it for a buck. And like I said, I think I had a coupon there too. I got 20% uh, off the entire purchase. And we also had this older uh, Denon RC865 remote control. And I'll put this up on the screen To uh, I paid... $4.99 was the original price. Also from Savers, this uh, was hanging on one of the walls. At least my Savers are like this, where they have things separated by home goods, kitchen, office supplies. This is actually a brand new USB dongle for a uh, remote control for LG TVs. I'm not sure why it's mixed with that Motorola remote and this extender cable, but uh, this itself here was about a $22 to $25 item, I believe. Um, you know, we paid a little bit less for that, so paid about $350, um, and that obviously will ship in a bubble mailer. That's why I like light and simple items like this. Another Goodwill, we spent uh, $28.99 here. Okay, oh, because what's in here, this is something. I actually kind of bought this more because I wanted to put it in the video, figuring I was actually going to make one for this shopping haul. Paid $25 for an Xbox One Connect camera, and I would say that's pretty high, even though these do sell for about... Um, 50 to 70 dollars you're not getting a huge return but it's something that's going to sell fast all right let me interject too here this is something i'm going to be talking about in a new series of videos coming out that i'm going to call the the right way to do things on ebay 
But uh, when I look at how much those Kinect cameras are selling for, I saw that a lot of them were selling for like $50 plus $20 for shipping, $45 plus $25, $40 plus $20. To me, that means somebody's willing to pay somewhere between $60 and $70 with combined shipping and the cost of the item. Now, most of those people charging 20 bucks for shipping, I don't know in what world they are shipping things out. Uh, there is no way that will ever cost me $20 to ship out. That is more like, honestly, 12 bucks. So I know that I could ask $20 for shipping and still make some money or just ask 65 bucks for it with free shipping and it's pretty much the exact same thing. So sometimes I'm looking at my comps, I look at what they're charging for shipping that people are willing to pay combined with the cost of the item they're buying and I realize it's never going to cost me that much to ship and people are willing to pull out that much money to buy the item. So I kind of use that in my judgment on whether something's worth purchasing or not. So like I said, I don't mind putting 25 bucks into this because this will flip very fast and uh, probably at least double my money on it. So that's great. Why wouldn't you want to double your money, right? And then talking about it again, these are things I buy like crazy. The Panasonic phones and the base chargers. Again, green was half off. So I only paid $2 for this. So to me, I paid a dollar for the phone and a dollar for the charging unit. And these pieces individually will go anywhere from 14 to 20 something dollars. So to me, that's more like I pay $2 to make 20 to 25. And we got that one and we got another one. Um, I usually buy them if they have the power cord and there are some models that really aren't worth it but most of the ones I grab for 50 cents or a dollar I don't even bother looking up and that way I'm just saving time and I don't have to worry about it too much and look them up and I'm like look if I spend a dollar or 50 cents here and there and it's not worth it I'm going to make out uh, like a bandit in the long run. So this was only six dollars that we spent at this store it looks like it's two more phones. We got another uh, Panasonic phone and base unit. So that was $1.50 for both pieces total. And then this one was uh, accessory phone. Again, $1.50. This was the phone and, and the charging unit is also on the inside there. So I definitely won't ship that in the box. It's uh, cheaper just to ship these bubble wrap in a bubble mailer is how I'll do it. And then also in that store, picked up this 1995 Panasonic Car Portable CD player. Definitely got to test it out, but it was in nice condition. And for three bucks, um, I tend to sell these for somewhere between $15, $25. Depends on the model. I, I know this is a Panasonic. I tend to stick to Panasonic or Sony or the brand names. Uh, and only the ones that look like they're in really good condition. This is a eight millimeter head cleaner. And I always wonder if these things dry out, but it doesn't seem like it. I've seen other ones like this sold and like a Radio Shack brand, which obviously doesn't even exist anymore. But these kind of CD cleaners, head cleaners, tape cleaners, these sell really good, paid three bucks. I think this is gonna go for about 18 to 20. This took a flyer on for uh, 250 being half off. This is a sensor cube for, is it for the Roomba? No, for the iRobot cleaning vacuum that helps it to know where I guess things are that it's going to bump into. But I really have no way to test this, so I'm kind of taking a chance. But these things too are selling for like 20 ish, maybe the low $20. So I figured for $250, take a chance there. And then the other thing that is in that receipt is this old guy here, which is going to need a little more testing and definitely some. TLC cleaning, but this is a Yamaha AM FM stereo tuner model T17. Now, normally I wouldn't spend $20 on something like this when it's only going to sell for somewhere in the 60s, but this was half off too because they wrote 20 GR, meaning 20 green, and uh, it looked pretty good in the store. The front looked nice, and I figured clean it up a little bit, just make sure the inside is nothing dead in there, to be honest. I always open these up to make sure there's nothing creepy crawly going on and it's light enough this will probably ship for about 14 bucks so there's a good 30 to 40 dollars of profit in here for me yet another goodwill uh, did i mention that i have like 13 goodwill retail stores out here uh three of these different ones these are the new lego super mario kits um they wanted three dollars a piece honestly these sell for about 12 bucks on ebay but there were three of them and i figured i might just bundle it together um it's not going to be a loss no matter what i do so we got the what we got here we got the builder mario we've got cat mario and we've got fire mario so 
Lego has a new set out since last year for the Mario anniversary. Um, I don't think it's really been a seller, like a hot seller. It's easy to find, but Mario Legos were one of the new things that came out last year. This is just some kind of extra random stuff here. 99 cents on these. Um, Pokino. I sell that maybe like about 20 bucks. If I'm not mistaken. I could be mistaken. Was I mistaken? It's on the screen. <laughs> Grab this too. The box is going to be tossed out, but this is a vintage travel edition of Scrabble. All the pieces inside are nice little wood tiles. Um, they lock into the board. So getting rid of that box for 99 cents. Scrabble is always a fast seller for me. I'll probably still price that in the same 20-ish 20, 20 dollar range. And then uh, this was in the glass case for some reason, but only for $1.99. And it's just one Nerf gun. I'm not even sure if it's complete, but for um, two bucks, I grabbed it. And they also had, randomly in the store in a different section, a brand new pack of Nerf darts. And I think this was 99 cents. And this, I too, believe it or not, might be close to 20 bucks. But they do work with the end strike gun. So I might just lot that together too. A vast Kermit. Holy cow, that comes out like a bullet. What is going on with this stuff for kids? And I think last but not least, now that I've buried it under here, we also have this Sony VCR, uh, model SLV N55. I sell a lot of those VCRs with a generic remote control and some cables, and those will go upwards of 75 to 100. This will be also in that Right Way to Do Things series that I'm going to be putting out soon, I hope. Um, but people say, oh boy, bump into the uh, tin soldier there. People say, you know, how about testing these things? Like they never work. Well, in the stores, in my goodwill, I'm able to return stuff as electronics for seven days for store credit. So it gives me a little bit of a leeway to pick it up and try it out. But when I'm in the stores, I always at least put a VCR tape in the VCR side and make sure it sounds like it's playing, the motor doesn't sound like it's grinding. Fast forward and rewind and make sure it actually does it, that it's not snapping the tape. And sometimes I've actually had them where they will short out or just turn off when you hit fast forward or rewind. So do a little bit of testing in the store too. Obviously you still have to get it hooked up at home on the testing center, make sure the picture quality is good. Um, just make sure it's working, but I've been, I'd say easily 70, 80% of everything I bring home that's electronics, uh, usually works without a hitch. So once I've tested it in the store and trust me, when I was shopping yesterday, I probably had about three or four more devices in my cart that I didn't buy because they weren't working. So I'm not saying everything will work, but if you know how to test it, which is relatively simple, if you ever use a VCR or DVD player, you know how to test it, you know what to look for. And as far as remote controls go, I just use a generic remote control I buy off of Amazon, which I think is linked down below in the description of the videos. And uh, I include that with all of them. So no point in me spending 20 bucks on the actual remote control just to sell the unit for $20 more and break even. I'll let the, uh, the buyer worry about that. So it looks like a magic wardrobe change here all of a sudden, but I actually did not get a chance to finish filming a uh, wrap up of that stuff. It's a couple of days later. I know I posted on the screen some of the stuff that already sold. I really have not listed that much stuff yet because I got tied up with a few things. Um, so it was a few, the Kinect camera would have sold already. I think the Dream Life one actually sold today when I was making the video, looking at the sold comps, sold for $139 in the exact same condition uh, of the one that I have. So had I actually had mine listed, that probably would have been my sale. So I'm going to get that stuff listed more today. Hope you guys are enjoying the content. I want to get into more training stuff as I started to do. If you didn't watch my last video on the tax change for next year, where basically resellers are going to be getting tax documents uh, from eBay and PayPal when you sell just a minimum of $600. It doesn't start until 2022, but make sure you're prepared, keeping track of things so you can have all your deductions and to get the most back on your taxes as possible. I'm sure we'll be talking about that more in the future, guys. Thanks again, as always, for watching, following the journey with me. I really appreciate it. I enjoy making these videos. I wish I could do it more often, but... This is just one of many things I do, but I thank you guys for always continuing to watch. If you enjoyed today's video, please give it a thumbs up down below or leave a comment. That really helps the YouTube algorithm. And until I'm back with a new video, guys, stay tuned, stay positive, and keep hustling. I'll talk to you later.